Yeah, so we're out here. Out there. Yeah, Joe's quiet. So who, who, who's going to be on the show tonight? So tonight on the show, man, we got, we got not one, but two, two special guests in the house tonight. Well, not actually in the house, but on the show, Devereaux and Darby O. Trill. This is going to be dope, man. Devereaux, who has currently produced an entire album that's number two on the iTunes chart right now, talking about Ouija Max Wasteland. Good wasteland. We need sound effects so bad. Yeah, it would be fun. <laughs> it would be fun. Just, yay! Can you guys hear Grape Joe okay? Do I need to talk more louder into the microphone? More louder. Yeah, it's going to be a weird night, man. Uh, it's different. For everybody tuned in, it's going to be like, what the hell is going on? Uh, Big Roo is in Jamaica or on his way back from Jamaica, maybe. Uh, he was out there for his brother's official wedding. I know he went to Vegas a few weeks ago for the wedding. And then, the, I guess, there's the real wedding. Yeah, everybody. He's just a traveling weddings. man. You got to have two weddings. You got to have two weddings. He's, he's the rich I guess guy. it just costs too much to, like, the legalities are too much of a pain to actually have, like, you know what I mean? Like, they have a ceremony there, but they technically got married here. You know what I mean? Yeah, but did you see his little pictures that he's been sending? Yeah, they look the, nice. His walk-out pool yeah. out of his room? Oh. Like something you'd only <clears throat> see in Vegas, really. But. Well, that's Jamaica. Yeah. That's Jamaica. Yeah, that's, you have a pool everywhere. You just step out the, out the front door, and it's a island right there's water everywhere what's the point for casey a whitlow says uh his girl got quarantined for contact tracing it's been a week and i'm already going crazy being away from her that sucks bro that stinks is she i mean is she okay is she healthy like uh, hopefully she's okay and she's well and you can see her in a couple days i guess that sucks yeah, my grandma's got it. My grandma's got it. And she's had no fever at all. That's good. And she, I don't know. She she's seems good. like it's not that big of a deal. Well, even that's good, man. She's had like tons of heart problems. and But it, it, I don't know. Hopefully it ain't affecting her like it affects everybody else, I guess. I don't know. They usually say elderly people, it's deadly, but. Well, maybe she, your grandma's healthy. She's. She's good. Well, that's good, man. Well, hopefully everybody's doing good and get through that. Oh, uh, what's this? Frank Frank McKinney, get you some nipple dippers and put them in your lunchbox. It's going down. Hell yeah, man. What's but yeah, so Rue's, uh, Rue's out there in Jamaica on his way back, so I'm sure we'll hear all about that next. What are you doing? What did, what, what is a, what did you just say? A <laughs> nipple what? A nipple dipper. A nipple dipper. I don't know. Google it. Okay. Don't Google it when I'm here, though. Uh, and then uh, congratulations to uh, Mr. and Mrs. Dead Body Man. We already knew they got married. We congratulated them on the last show. But they were out on their honeymoon. Um, so he is not here tonight either. We had scheduled guests because everyone doesn't know their actual dates when they're not going to be around. And uh, so Grape Joe. Came through, and here we are. Why man. not? And here we are, man. We're doing the a thing. Show must go on. I'm really concerned about the YouTube. So if you guys have any issues for real, we'll just keep popping back up. But yeah, it's gonna be dope. We got, uh, like I said, Darby O'Trill and Devereaux coming up on the show tonight. And what else? What else is going on? Oh, nipple dippers, apparently, because it's you a really thing. are googling that. It is Lord of mercy. It is a thing. <laughs> what do you think? You just made up a word? Uh, it's, I don't know. It's I keep telling him to talk cool. louder. He just—it's not as cool as you think it would be. He doesn't like to talk loud because we're sitting so close to each other. It's weird for him. No, I just feel like I'm breathing into the mic too much, and maybe I need to hold it closer. Sorry, everyone. hold me closer. Sorry. Uh, hold me closer, Joe. Hold you. I'll hold you. Or real hold the close. listeners closer. I mean. Oh. They all want me to hold them closer. That's gross. Y'all are gross. Um, Come. 
What? But yeah, so Ouija Mac, six feet, y'all. <laughs> We're like six inches away from each other here, Merle. It's, it's a little ridiculous. You know, it's COVID restrictions. We got well, we a piece got the, of plastic between us. We got the bootleg mixer. We got the we got the laptop. We got a thousand cords. We got some candy corn. You guys will learn about later. It is uh, disgusting. We got, disgusting. We got lots of stuff. We got cables and cords and crazy weird uh, redneck internet and all kinds of stuff going on. But we're uh, we're making it happen. The show must go on. So uh, redneck internet. I like how you call the <laughs> redneck internet. Isn't that what it is? It's pretty close. It's pretty close. It's <laughs> like a. It's a little internet thing that's like the size of my cell phone that I can take it wherever I want. But we're making and, it work. You know. I use it everywhere. I usually work in weird places, and uh, it'll give me a service. It'll give me service. It's good to have so, internet everywhere. It's always pop in the Polar Pop fam. Calm down. Unless we're camping. Yeah. The wonderful camping trips since we. It's all know. good. Well, I'm glad she's doing uh, healthy, Casey. Whoop, whoop, CRM in the chat. How you doing? Um, so, Grape Joe, as the first ever guest host on Replicon Radio. That what doesn't do you, know how to talk into a microphone. Sorry. What you, it's fine. You're not. You're, Am I good now? You're not a trained professional. Hopefully. I'm. I'm tra- I'm a trainee. By the time we're done here, you'll be a trained professional, and we'll never have you back. It'll be perfect. Awesome. I like it. <laughs> One and done. One um, and done. But I mean, this is your first. It's your first time. It's your come on, man. You got to remember your first time. So, you got any any weird topics or anything you want to talk about or anything you're like, man. Every, you listen to the show. For you guys that don't know, Grape Joe's not only one of my good friends. He's also a Patreon member to Replicon Radio, so he gets all those perks, which is one of the reasons he gets to do this. It's, and it's so he wonderful. should join our Patreon. But he's an avid listener to the show. So being a listener to the program and other shows, I know you sat there and been like, man, if I had my fucking own radio show, I'd talk about this. Well, here's your chance. I, you know, I, I would just like to see a little more different music, do some more metal stuff, you know. Which I, That's what I, you want to do. That's what you you want to take your time. Yeah, you can say would, whatever you want. You want to say play more metal. I would do metal. I would do more metal music. But no, I don't know. I would talk about myself a little, and uh, yeah. everybody can come buy my uh, crazy toys that I make in my crazy workshop, which they got. I mean, they're all in display on a toy store up the street here. But I know everybody else is way out far away, so. But they could always come or buy them online, too. They're on a, a Time Warp toy store. There you if go. If you ever want to look it up. Look up Time Warp tour sto- toy store. And, you can and check they have out, everything. Uh, everything. The toys. Everything. Toys, cards, whatever you want, you could buy them from. I'd like to talk more toys, but I don't know much about toys. Yeah. I love toys. My house is a museum to toys, really. And I like I to make it. my own stuff. There's a dildo over there. There's a rabbit. Yeah. Is that what you call that? A rabbit? Right. It's, uh, what is that? A, si- a Sibian? It, it's, it's, lots it's, of batteries. Lots of strange know. toys in here. Re- Bunch of nipple batteries. dippers over there on the shelf. Yeah. Just ordered. Just <laughs> ordered. Which nipple dippers are not even that funny when you look it up. It's, it's so funny when the guy stupid. says it. it, it yeah. He says you have to have large nipples to dip them in, though, or you can't have any. Yeah, send them to school with your kids. That's not what happens when you Google. I'm just picturing <laughs> a uh, like a like a McDonald's sauce full of like caramel or something. Dip- you just dip your nipple in it. Yeah, I could, I could go <clears throat> for that. Wasn't that in a movie? There was some uh, there was some old '80s fighting movie where they dipped the chicks' nipples in honey or some shit. Remember, it was like a something weird. Uh-uh. I don't yeah, watch those movies. Some crazy martial I'm not gonna arts lie movie. though, <clears throat> I might have to unplug my nice microphone at the studio and plug in this microphone so I can lean back. Lean back. I like leaning back. <laughs> you do look very comfortable. Yeah, I'm chilling. Y'all can't see me though because 
we didn't hook up the camera because, like I said, we might have internet problems. So I wasn't trying to add to the amount of things <laughs> we were trying to send out into the world. So, but that's okay. This is a radio show, not a video show. Yeah, I like video, video shows don't exist anymore. You you saw it happen to MTV. Um, but the radio still exists. So, radio will be around forever. It was here before TVs. I mean, think about it. If the world goes down, you'll always still be able to use the radio to yeah. contact everyone. Like CB radio and stuff like that. Anything, just a regular radio. You can make it run off a. Of you got that wound. Up, you got batteries. the you got the windy radio. Right. You just crank it up. It doesn't need any batteries. It's got a little mini generator in it. Oh snap! That's what's up. Right. You you can tune in a Replicon radio on one of those. Yes, I could. We're syndicated worldwide. Eighty-eight point one. <laughs> Is it really the numbers? No. No. Oh. You should make up better numbers then. <laughs> that's not good numbers. That's where we'd be on the spectrum is at the that that end. You think? For sure. It wouldn't be AM. No. We should, we AM's so AM. monotone. It's terrible. That's what they're data, that's what they were talking about on the YouTube stream. Sorry. I was looking at the comments on the uh, on the YouTube stream. If you guys didn't know, man, we are live, RebelConRadio.com, as well as YouTube.com slash RebelConRadio. And the replay, when we're not live, is available on all streaming platforms, Spotify, iTunes, Apple, Google, Stitcher, Spreaker, wherever you listen to music, podcasts, or anything, just search Replicon Radio, and we're there. World motherfucking wide, fam. Yeah, so what is, what's going on in the football stuff? Why would you ask me that? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. You better call Rue. Because you guys. You better call Rue. I won. I always talk about it. I won. I, I, I won in our in the Replicon Radio League, and I lost in the Twisted League. That's the only reason why I wanted to say something, because you supposedly won. How did you know that? Because they talk about it in the Discord. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I did. I won that. That's pretty funny because you, you really have nothing. You just picked the people with the best fucking idea about football, really. I mean, do you even watch it at all or even listen? No, or? I watch the app to see how many points I got. Right, see? Which I can't blame you. I would do the same thing. But I forgot to put in people in the other league, so I didn't win there. Ouch. But it happens, man. What was uh oh that's what I was gonna say. To your uh your more metal comment that you mentioned earlier. Yes. If you're out there and you want to hear more metal or more uh whatever it may be, I don't know what it is, shoot us an email. The replicon is watching at gmail dot com with your requests. Um but Generally, what I play on the show is the week's current releases, if you haven't noticed. Um, every Friday right here on the YouTube channel, as well as available on Spotify and Anchor.fm, there's a show called The Daily Dino that we do. And we talk about all the new releases in the underground and whatnot and all the things coming out. So if you have a release coming out, if there's a metal, if you know about a bunch of metal bands that got some new shit coming out, or you're yourself in a metal band, or a rapper, a rocker, or whatever it may be, shoot us an email. The replicon is watching at gmail.com. We'll talk about the release on the Friday show, and generally on the Monday show, it'll end up on the playlist. Yeah. I just, you know, send it out to everybody. You got the horror stuff you hell do, yeah. you know, the movie stuff and all that. Absolutely. Well, why the hell not? I'm not. The more the merrier, right? I'm not mad at it. We had the, uh, what up, real freak? What up, Killer618? The guest on the show tonight is Devereaux and Darby O'Trill. Devereaux, Devereaux, Devereaux. And how you doing? Devereaux. And the guest host is, uh, which is who, what he actually asked, is Grape Joe. Yeah. Bunch of grapes. Bunch of grapes. That's this guy right here. He's sitting next to me. You can't see him, but you can hear him, and that's all that matters. Because it would be real weird if I was just sitting here talking to myself. 
and you were just I was another voice in your head that you make up and could be that would be pretty funny so but yeah again uh, that's who you go camping with yeah, the other camping, voice buddy. in your head you've seen them you've seen them on food reviews what food reviews have you done Joe the wonderful camping not stuff. the one we did today can't the tell camp- that one's not that's unreleased the camping ones which are the I would say by far the funniest There's ones. two of those up now. There's still another one we never, I never put up funny. yet. They're pretty funny. It's there's fixed. another camping. There's another dehydrated food one. It's pretty fun camping with Paul. There's, a liquor, there's a liquor review that's never been revealed either. Everyone that talks about going camping with Paul, you have no idea, really. Like When they talk about he just hangs out and drinks and someone else sets it all up I pretty much yeah i pretty much do Hell that yeah. but it's it's a good time anyway shout out to grave joe for and i'd rather i'd rather do it anyways myself i'd rather you did it yourself too <laughs> but we do have the greatest time camping the wonderful gremlins big screen trip was pretty it was pretty fun. amazing out of the back of a school bus, which was really, really backyard country fun. It was dope. Because it was, it was like a... We got harassed of, by 12-year-old boys that called us yeah. racist names and said they were going <laughs> to drop me. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Drop you. And he, he, for being a little kid... He knew quite a few racial slurs, I can tell you that. The guest host is Cher. That'd be dope. Do you believe in love after love? I can feel something inside myself. I really don't think you're strong enough. Oh. (laughs) Do you believe in love after love? He said you wanted more metal. Yeah, I get more metal than so fucking Cher. Cher. Cher is very metal. I can feel She's something so metal. inside myself. I really don't, don't think, think I'm strong so- enough. No. Oh. You want something, oh, Rock? Wow. <laughs> crazy. Crazy Cher after her, her changeover. Killer618 would like for you to uh, tell him to fuck off. Huh. Fuck off. Fuck off. <coughs> fuck that's, off. That's, that's you gotta cool. do it like that. Fuck off. Mm. Right? So I guess everything's playing okay then somewhat. The huh? things are working. Things are working that's, um, that's, for the most part. That's amazing. Yeah. If you guys know, if you guys knew the troubles... Oh, the trouble. We should really play some of those ones. Play the trouble, the, the, the demon the talk things? Yes, we should do that. Like a special release. It doesn't it don't even make sense. It's just like, hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was kind of crazy sound. Wild, bro. Destroyed it. I mean, even the music changed. All of it. Yeah, it was crazy. We did, uh, yeah, trying to get this yeah. set up with this... Uh, feeble equipment and uh this silly mixer that i bought from the hong kong virus mm-hmm. and maybe a, didn't a, work a possible possessed house yeah so <laughs> but we got it we got it up and running we're here the show keeps going man and we don't stop um i can't believe grape joe who's never done a show before doesn't have any fucking topic or anything at all any topic i'll tell you no, what he just wants me to Come up with topics. Yeah, I need you to fucking do that. <laughs> I didn't have that. any time to prepare for the show because <laughs> I was too busy preparing for the show. Um, I don't hold know, on. You should ask everybody else. What do they want to know? No, they're not here. Nobody, nobody's here. Let me do that. wants to know anything. Who does? I don't know. Plus, I, that'd be dope. Jim City. St- I wish I had. I need auto tune. I'd be killing it, dude. He 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 likes to sing. He likes to sing. I don't know about that. It's 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 fun if you guys could hear the road trips we take. It, if there was a camera running the entire time, I think everyone oh, would yeah. freak. So here's we would be hit top. 
top of the charts. Some kind of goofy YouTube video everybody would want to watch us. So here's something that nobody knows about because we've never uh, talked about it publicly. And based on the uh, first 30 minutes of tonight, you guys probably will all hate the idea. But me and Joe were talking about doing our own show. Our own not uh, our own little podcast outside of Replicon Radio. I mean, obviously it would be part of it, but it's not. It would be a whole other deal. Just be our thing, us shooting the shit. Because we've had some weird conversations where I'm like, dude, if we would recorded that. Crazy adventures and stuff. Like short would... little 30-minute deals. Like, And we'll probably do it eventually. It's just the shit's so time-consuming. Just making this thing work half-assed was fucking took forever. But uh, Right. But the phones work better. We can almost just get some phone stuff and walk around with it. Mar- uh, Mars is B-Sides. We talked about that. Sorry for everyone who's just like, what the hell? Why did you just start saying that? <laughs> Frank McKinney in the chat room asked if there was any news on Mars' B-Sides. It was supposed to be released on Friday. We just had him on the show last week, and we talked about it. Uh, he said it was just delayed for a few days because of some mistakes on his end. I don't, I don't know exactly what mistakes they were. Probably some, some something with the upload or uh, with the credits or something. I'm assuming it'll probably just come out on Friday. Because what's the point of releasing something on Tuesday and getting lost in the sauce? You know what I mean? Because everything comes out on Friday. So I'm I'm assuming it'll come out on Friday. But I'm not 100%. If it's not already up, man. But yeah, it's, uh, it's coming. It was just delayed a couple days. But back to what we were talking about. So we the conversation we had which which uh which made me think we should start recording them. Was he called me out of the blue? <laughs> and he asked me who was my favorite was what you oh, yeah. was my well, favorite ninja turtle, right? Yeah. And what color you would be just out of the blue know. like hey man. Hey, what are you doing? Working and stuff. I was like who's your favorite ninja turtle? And we got into like a fucking like legit discussion about it because I was like, dude, it's fucking Donatello. One hundred percent. He's like, really? Yeah, it kind of shocked me a little bit. I thought I was thought he'd be more of a Raphael or something, just because of the mean, tough talk and the more tough guy attitude kind of thing. I I just never would have pegged you for a Donatello. Right. So. It's fun. It's I don't. It's I can't repeat conversations. Like I can't, I can't have that conversation again as though we never had it because that's weird to me. Even though I know people do shit like that all the time. Um, you know what I mean? Like pretend like we didn't do it and, and try I to even repeat it. What, what, but we got into like a whole conversation about. I was like, no, I really like Donatello. Like not only is purple one of my favorite colors, but he's also like, um, you know, the smart guy. He's always like, he, you always know he has your back. These guys are out fighting and doing the action. Donald tells a step back. So when they More get into loyal. trouble, but when they get into trouble, you have like he's the one you have to count on. He's the one you have to go back to get. You right. know what I mean? Like he's the one that's going to save them while they're even though and be the problem even though solver. they're doing the dirty work and they're doing the fighting and they're out there on the front line. If it wasn't for him being back, they probably would have died a long time ago. Like right. The first time they got caught. Right. So, but we had this whole conversation about it. And uh, nobody asked which one you would be, Hey Merle. He says Rue is Rob, DBM would be Donnie, and P would be Mikey. That which is not. I would still be Donatello. You guys think Dead Body Man is smart because he <laughs> used to fucking film it's, shit. Like no, really, he's not smart. Really I don't know where you get that. Like, I'm not saying he's dumb. I'm just saying he's not smart. Um, I, I would agree with them. I would agree. I don't. I don't think Dead Body Man would fit into any role of a Ninja Turtle. I think Dead Body Man would be like uh, Bebop. <laughs> if if we're if we're in the Ninja Turtle world, Dead Body Man would one hundred percent be Bebop. That's pretty funny. I can see really Rue as being a Ralph. Um, yeah, I guess he would be more the Ralph of the group. I feel like I'm a. I'm like a, I'm like a mix. I'm not nearly as smart as Donatello. Um, what I do like run all the shit. You know what I'm saying? But uh, right. You but do I, all the work. But I also everyone. like to party like Michelangelo. Yeah, yeah, you do. 
But Michelangelo, maybe Dead Body Man would probably have to be Michelangelo. If he had to be a turtle, it would be Michelangelo. If we had to be turtles, he would be Michelangelo because he fucking drinks right. daily. And if if any of the Ninja Turtles drink, it would definitely be Michelangelo. He'd be the guy drinking all exactly. the time. He's the part. He's right. a party dude. Right. He you know what I mean? Like, he's addicted to pizza. Except for Dead the Body Man's addicted to White Claw. What's the difference? Quarantine thing. He was really super quarantiny. Smart I know ass people. equals smart, or does is that a not does not equal smart? No, I don't know. No, but anyway, <laughs> so I mean, I guess that. But yeah, but we so we we had this whole long conversation. Like we talked about all. He's like, but then he told me why he thought I would pick Ralph and why. Yeah, but it was, it was just like it was weird. It was like a. It was like an hour conversation too. It I was mean, like it was, thirty minutes. Oh man, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Oh, that's not good. What's that doing? Don't do that. Yeah. Okay. Um, hopefully we're good. Yeah. But yeah, man. So, so we can't. I can't. I literally. I have a list. You don't even. You've never even seen this, Joe. I have a list of questions. Oh boy. Based on our non-existent show. Oh. Nice. <laughs> no one's ever seen. That, one. Of, yeah. No one's ever yeah. seen it. One of them is the Ninja Turtle one. Oh, but nice. it's weird. Um. Because it was a lot of, like, because I like stuff like that. And I don't, I don't ever talk about that. When you hear me talk about Ninja Turtles, when you talk, like, you mentioned toys. I don't talk about toys. I like I don't know enough about toys to talk about them. It's collectible shit, really. I mean. But I do like collectibles. I got Twisted Toys. Right. Your favorite thing. Ninja Turtle says a lot about a person. What does it yes, say? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I want to know what the Jim, Jim City Studios. Shout out to Jim City Studios in the YouTube chat. He's the one. That he or she. I don't want to assume your gender, sir. Because the way it, it's I'm not disagreeing said. with it. I want to know what, like what. That it has to be. That has to be like a thing. Like it has well, to be like, like somebody a list. comes up to you and just says like, "Hey, oh, I'm you know I would be Leonardo." Then you would kind of think, "Okay, this guy thinks he's a leader. He he's gonna." I think run anybody who thinks they're Leonardo you know is a I dick. Mean? Well, right, basically. Leonardo's right. a dick. I right. saw something today. It's kind I don't of on know subject. If I would agree with that 100%. It's actually one of the. X Men was one of my questions. It'd be the same as the Ninja okay. Turtle. Okay. I don't want to talk about it right now. I don't want to oh, do that. Man. I don't want to get into that. Yeah. We'll the get turtle thing's going to. I think the turtle thing's going to hold us over because people are commenting on it. But I did. I saw something on Facebook today that fucking was totally fitting to this, except it was about X Men. And it was said, any if anyone, if your favorite X Men, if anyone's favorite X Men is Cyclops, you're a cop. Ooh. And I was like, 100%. That would make sense. It's the that same with Leo. Sense. It's like, Brad? if you think you're like, oh, if I was a Ninja Turtle, I'm Leonardo. Like, yeah. oh, you're a bitch. You probably are a cop. You're a dick. <laughs> you're either a cop or a dick or both. You probably are a cop. Well, you think you're the shit. Yeah, those people. They, yeah, but a lot of them give the other they ones should. bad names. They should too. have a Facebook you know. game. They probably will have a Facebook game for that after that. But I want to know what your thoughts are, Jim City Studios, and everyone else listening. Like if like just generic, like there's there's only four options, so you don't have it doesn't have to be that crazy. So what does that what does your favorite Ninja Turtle say about a person? If you chose Leonardo, I mean we just kind of discussed wh- what our opinion because like, I think we both right. agree on that. Like you think, or if you pick Mikey, you would be because like even if a that's true, animal. because look, even if that's true, even if you are that guy or girl that is the leader it is the one that would go out there and you know what i'm saying like, yeah, even if you, if you really did play the leonardo role you, you wouldn't, wouldn't choose that. you wouldn't right, choose right. it i agree leonardo 100%. wouldn't choose that he wouldn't say yeah. that. he would never pick himself like, no right he wouldn't i agree with that 100 percent. so so yeah like you're not that guy Right. But he'd be too modest to say anything he'd probably just be like i can't question on this i'm gonna Back away from this questioning. Did we cut? Damn, we cut out. We cut out on the speaker. That sucks. Eh. Um, sorry, y'all. We were talking about uh, someone in the chat room, Jim City. We were talking about Ninja Turtles and your favorite Ninja Turtle. And mentioned in the YouTube chat was your favorite. Someone, whatever someone says, their favorite Ninja Turtle is says a lot about a person. And I want to know what your guys' thoughts are on on that. Like, if someone says their favorite turtle is Leonardo, what kind of person are they? If someone's favorite Ninja Turtle is Michelangelo, what kind of person are they? Right. But 
Which is the cool thing about them, too. There's, like, not one that you wouldn't pick. Hey, Merle There's says, no I'm one. Splinter, old and a dick, but I know <laughs> how to cowabunga. <laughs> well, that's funny, but it's the wrong that answer. Sounds, that sounds about right. Because uh, Splinter is not a turtle. <laughs> um, I'm so, I'm so sorry. That, that stinks <laughs> that thing cut out. Hopefully it didn't cut out for long. I saw it swirling, but it looked like it came right back. Hopefully it's all back on. Everyone can let us know. I'm hoping. Yeah. But uh, I am, it is recorded. The YouTube stream is recording, which is never, I never do. Because that takes up a lot of space. Yeah. But it's recording. So that way, if anything cuts out, it will be recorded and can be re-uploaded. Re-listened to. That's right. I mean, it should, yeah. we should be fine. It should be good. Hopefully it's all good. So... So let's just I don't I don't know how delayed we are what's going on. So let's just roll with it. So if somebody were to pick um so we already we already decided what what kind of people pick Leonardo. If uh somebody picks Raphael, what kind of person are they? They got to be more of a hard ass like to fight. I mean, I, I don't know. I would I would I would say hard ass. You know what I mean? Like he would be the guy starting the fights at the bar, right? Wouldn't you think? Like, everybody's at the bar. There's one guy there that's just looking to stir some shit up, you know. Well, yeah, like the hammer already said Rue would be Ralph. Right, which I kind of I kind of agree with that. But he's really... I think there'd be... I don't know. I mean, he's really not that bad when he... I think there's... I think there... I think two... I think two different types of people would pick Raphael. One would be the one you're thinking, like the the hard ass guy, like the shit talker. The I'm right. not even like not even necessarily the shit talker, like the badass, the right. guy who thinks he's a badass. Right. Not necessarily a bad. He could be. Right. Some people that well, think he they're badasses. Is. Some people that think they're badasses are actually badasses. Right. Those are the worst kind. Yes. <laughs> it's like those guys that are in the the Navy SEALs and they come like home the ex, and they're just the ex like military guys that are like just super dicks. <laughs> right. Like they hate everyone, right. but they think they're the best. Those are the nothing best. against military guys, just those particular. I know you're about. That's my favorite thing. Is those are the best videos. Like the someone breaks into a house and that guy's there. He's, he's at home waiting for him to come in. He's just naked in the hallway <laughs> oh with a God. shotgun. Those hey. are the best things. Hey ever. there. Did you hear, <laughs> did you hear about the boxer? The, the or no, it was a uh, was the UFC guy that they uh. The dude tried to ra- tried to steal one of his cars. No. Right, ra- ran onto his driveway, and was fiddling around with the cars. And then all of a sudden, you can see, and it's all. Uh, I wish everyone could see you with your fiddle hands. It's all. He's uh, just fiddling around. It's all He's over on here grabbing YouTube. an invisible ball sack. Like you could see it all <laughs> from like a all the fiddling kind of camera. Oh, right. he's just in his house watching him fiddle. He comes running out of his garage with a shotgun. Mm. And like he apparently catches this guy and beats I'll the bet. ever living hell out of him. But it's it's such a great video. That's like wow. They broke he broke into his house and it was this like Well there's nothing wrong with that. I'm thinking star of martial arts that comes yeah. running out like you picked As the wrong should. House. Yeah, fuck yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with being a badass or you know what I mean, looking out for your own. I'm talking I'm talking about those fucking great just stuff. assholes that are just they go places just to be a badass. I know. I kind of got off track. Or if someone's like, hey, excuse me. Like, what? You know what I'm saying? These people are just fucking straight dicks. Those people would choose Ralph. But I also feel like like, co- the cocky jackass type people would choose Ralph. Yeah. Like, not badass. Like, I'm going to beat you up. But, like, they're cocky. and I guess it's pretty much the similar type of person. Except one of them's aggressive. One of them's not aggressive. Right. Just cocky. Cocky people. But, but cocky, not like... I don't know. I feel like I'm talking bad about Raphael now. Yeah, because <laughs> now that I think about him more, he's almost. But he's kind of like he's like a smart ass. He was almost more like he had a social problem. Well, and there's too, two though, different. There's, there's cartoon I mean? Ralph and there's movie Ralph. Those are different guys. Right, right. Which you gotta go the old school '80s movie, or not, I guess it was '90s, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Somewhere. 
Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah, because it just turned 30. Oh. It just turned 30. Did you hear that they were they're talking about reopening the Jim Henson Studios to remake another Turtles movie the same way they done the original one? I guess you haven't heard about that, huh? Uh-uh. I know uh, it just celebrated a 30 year I anniversary. Somebody on some something talking about it. Like using the old costumes, you mean? Yeah, like they're going to use the actual like Ninja old Turtles 4? everything, like the way. Like they, they're going to make Ninja Turtles 4? Yeah. With the same people? I hope so. I are going to make the same people with the yeah, same costumes. Anyone. I feel like that's. I, I mean, that's the way to do it. I mean, if you're going to do these, like everything's reboots and redos and all this now. Well, I think it would but, be a better, the greatest time for it. Well, I'm saying, but you can do, stuff. the thing is, like, nowadays, they redo these things, or they'll do, like, you know, it's been 30 years. And, you know what I mean? And we right. got all these people, and they're older now. With the Ninja Turtles, if you can use the same costume, they didn't even have to age. Right. You can put different people in there. Nobody knows what ninja's you in there. You have no idea. It's, you, you're not even hearing the voices of the people that are in the suits. It's... All dubbed I mean, over, and you know what I mean. You still need like Corey was, Feldman to do Donatello, right? I mean, he was. Are you serious? Yeah, that would be funny. That's he did it. That's I who mean, did it, right? But he didn't know that. He's. You knew that, right? Yes, but he's. Did so you know much, that, Joe? He's so much weirder now. He's so no, much you just know him now. more now. Oh, he's the maybe. same amount of weird. You just know uh, about it. Yeah, maybe you're right. Oh he, God, he's his new band's amazing. Like, oh come on, now. Play some of that. Now you're just being crazy. Oh my god! You don't like it? You don't like it? It's, it's I love Corey Feldman. I don't I like do Corey too. Feldman singing. And it, it is not one bit. Made me look at him quite a bit different after all that came out. I don't know, but I still love all the old '80s stuff. I, th- I just, still think he's dope. I don't know. I want. I'd love to have him on the show. I'm trying. I've tried to reach out to him a million times. Hey, it might happen. You never know. Maybe he'll put out some movie and then he... He just put out th- that movie about him and Corey Feldman being raped. Corey Haim, I mean. Really? I didn't, uh, I didn't yeah. know about that. It's called The Two Corys. Or, or oh, The yeah. Truth or something. Yeah. The Two Corys was the TV show. This is... Right. But it's like pay-per-view. It's all kinds of shit. It's crazy. Huh. Apparently he calls out a bunch of people. Like Charlie Sheen. Oh, boy. And a bunch of people. Would like, you touch expect them anything when they were different? Kid, like, it's fucking blonde, man. Would you expect anything different from Charlie Sheen? Really? Yeah, I would. Really? I mean, that guy's insane. I would. I would, I would. I would expect uh, women. <laughs> I would expect from Charlie women. Sheen. So this thing messed up. Look at that. Oh. Um, that's all right. That's a good time. It's a good time yeah. to go to uh, Restart it. a music break, I think. I have an yeah. internet, the YouTube's having internet issues, but it's all good. It's recording, keeping it up and going. Um, yeah. Sorry, y'all, if you lost anything. Try to fix it. It's all good, man. We got crazy internet. Um, hopefully, we'll still go. We're still going good on the uh, everything else on the other end of the stuff. spectrum here. You guys still holding it down over there, Hey Merle? Um, where are we at here? The old Hey Merle. Hmm. All right. Yeah, we can stall for just another minute or two here. So that's the other thing we need to talk about. What? I think we should all get a replicant thing together and go hang out somewhere. Where are Which we going? I mean, you know, I mean, maybe we get a, repro- kind of, a replicon thing together. Some kind of sweet uh, hangout get a ladder, deal, bro. You know, sweet hangout deal, bro. You remember how we were talking about doing the uh, the replicon like retreat? The B&B. Yeah, like the B and B deal. Yeah, we we're gonna do right? that. I think we should we should do that. Where? Where should we go? I, I don't know. We have to find somewhere in the middle of everything. So everybody's got to get together to find out kind of a midpoint. There is no middle. I know. We kind of are the middle. <laughs> really, I mean. It just takes close. some time, little girl, in the middle, blah, blah, blah. Right? Where the hell did you just come from with that? In the middle. In the middle. Mm-hmm. The middle? Yeah. The middle? We kind of are in the middle, though. I the mean, middle. I know, but to make it easier for people or whatever, I think yeah. it would be cool. 
Where should we go? I don't know. Where do you think we should go? I don't know. I'm not going to lie. We were talking about it a lot for everyone that's a Patreon member. Um, you know what I'm talking about. Everybody else doesn't. But we were talking about doing like a little getaway, a little hangout, a little party, especially with all the COVID shit going on. Uh, I looked at a bunch of places, man. It's really hard to... Which, I mean, that's what I was thinking is like we could go camping before, you know. It's hard it, to plan such a thing, even man. Have cabins and stuff. Because I found a bunch. Don't like to camp. But. Well, I found a bunch of dope Airbnbs. Because I was like, oh, we'll go to Airbnb. I, the main thing I wanted was a pool. Make sure there was a pool. Right. Yeah, I mean, some of them have like pool. fucking game rooms and shit or like Hot spots tubs, where you have like a fire. Yeah. You know what I mean? But then you got to plan it. And then you got to fucking book it and you got to pay for it. And then you got to hope people actually fall through. Like there's a, you know what I mean? Right. Like, it's going to be an expense. You just got to make sure it's, you know, you're prepared. It's a lot of stuff. So. Right. Well, I, hey, it's in the talks, right? That's all. I'm just. Yeah, let's talk about it. I, I think it would be awesome if we all did that. It sounds fun. Everybody hangs out and talks on the on the Patreon thing. It's hilarious. Yeah. No, it would be dope. I think it would be super dope, man, to get, like, even if it was just, like, I don't know, 15, 20 people. Right. Well, that's all I was saying. I don't know if I want any more than all that. But you get, you bring one of them big-ass bills, like, big, like a match in, basically. Right. Everybody gets their own room. It's almost as cheap. It's almost cheaper than a hotel, except you got... The amenities of this everything to yourself. Dope ass place. But that's the other thing is some people like to party too much and something could get broken. Well they don't break to, anything, Joe. Right. That's that's different after you drink. That's always different after you drink. People fall over and things break. You have we a just, house, you don't just walk around here breaking shit all the time. I, <laughs> and I, you're fucking you're Dead body drunk every day. Yeah, yeah. I guess you're, you're right. You're not breaking shit. I guess you're right. Like, why you gotta... But I'm just saying, if we go in there and there's any kind of, like, porcelain vases or anything, I'm sure we need to pick them up and move them to the well, closet. Well, for sure. But a lot of those people are there. Fun. They don't leave expensive stuff. <laughs> for you to for break. people to break and bust stuff. Hey. Yeah, they don't, they don't, they don't have a lot. You never know if it's expensive. They probably just put it out there. They got it from the dollar store. They can write that it's 300 bucks and bam. And bam. Now they got your, now they got your credit card Uh-oh. and all of it. Terrible. Goodbye money. Goodbye money. Don't do that. No. That'd be bad. That would be bad, bro. Yeah. Everything yeah. going okay over there? Yeah, we're just I'm just preparing. Nice. Preparing for uh phase two. Set phasers to stun. Yeah, see these boys are bright red, no service whatsoever. Oh wonderful. Um but yeah man, yeah. that's what's up. Yeah. Why would I be the one breaking shit? I don't know. Cause you Go to Tunica, meet up with me and Jenny. Fall, Go somewhere yeah. to meet up with the Yankees, and then we can plan something big. Okay. So you want us to do multiple? Who is funding these? Multiple <laughs> get-togethers. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like multiple get-togethers, but who's, fun, who's <laughs> how do we fund these things? Tunica's not far, though. I'll totally go to Tunica. Where is Tunica? I'm stupid. It's in Mississippi. It's not very far away, though. Okay. It's like, uh, it's like Old Lady Vegas. Okay. Old Lady Vegas. Let us know, man. If you guys are listeners Old and you're Lady not Vegas. members of our Patreon and you'd be down with the uh, Replicon retreat and your uh, COVID-free and all that fun stuff and you want to kick it, a winter, this winter would probably be a good time for that. Like, like brand? Well, that's where it'd be cheaper, you know. Well... I mean, you know, because obviously, like, next summer we can it's do camping be. and stuff again, but right. we could go to, like, go to a well, nice, that would be a dope-ass house with an in-ground pool. I'll do that anyway. That sounds amazing. <laughs> really amazing. There you go. Well, let us know where I you guys want to go, what you think. We're going to take a musical break. Um, I just always need an excuse to go hang out and have fun. I, I agree. I agree. Especially now. 
100. 100. Uh, we're gonna take a quick music break, and then we're gonna come back with our guests, Devereaux, Devereaux, and Darby O'Trill, and uh, hopefully less internet connective issues. So uh, hang in there. Another YouTube link will start. Hopefully, it stays up, and uh, and we'll be back. So stay tuned. And uh, yeah. <laughs> 